Hi all. In uh, mid-October 2015, Apple released some major updates for its iWork platform. It took the iWork cloud out of beta so that you could use it on a Windows machine in Safari and it also updated the desktop and the portable, the iOS versions of all its iWork apps. Uh, I want to focus today on uh, the updates to Keynote on the desktop. It went from 6.5.3 to 6.6 and added some major features including better PowerPoint export and a variety of other under the hood arrangements. It did add some new themes and it also added something new called Line Draw, which I want to show you uh, a demo of. Because it's really a, a little thing, but it's actually quite important for, for some people uh, who will be using it, especially in scientific domains. Let me show you what I've got in mind. I've got my uh, a blank screen up here, but I'm going to just jump to here, where I'm going to show you ways that I've used some of the things we're going to using line draw. So now we've got a blank screen here. Let me show you a, um, a presentation I created for a motor vehicle company called Ivoco, an Italian company owned by Fiat, when I did a demonstration for them some years back. And just to show you what's called a wipe build to bring in data, you'll see on the left hand side of the axis we have various um, parts of, a, of the company, manufacturing, sales, IT, operations, marketing and HR and on the x-axis this is perhaps annual costs per year. So what one can do is bring it across a bit at a time and show what the actual numbers are. Now this is all done in charts that is built into Keynote. Okay, So this is called a wipe build and you can see the numbers come in. What's really interesting is that if I jump out of this and you now have a look at how this is done, you can see here how this works. So if I highlight the numbers here, notice that all the numbers are highlighted. So this is not done in separate text, this is done in the chart area. You can see here and the value labels here. So if I change the font, you'll see that they all change simultaneously, which is kind of handy. And so I made it as big as it was reasonable to get especially in the one down the bottom with HR. So that's the effect. Now, if you wanted to um, make this look like an arrow, let me show you kind of what happens. Let's get out of this and we'll go to this and we'll create an, an arrow such as here. And watch what happens if you do the white belt. So here's our arrow. I'm just going to make it a, a little bit thicker. So let's get rid of that for a moment. This is the, the uh, format here. And you can see how you can thicken up the line, like so. Or you can change the style of the line to, let's just leave it at that. Uh, you can't really do that much about the arrow head itself. You can sort of lengthen it. Um, but if you thicken it up, everything just thickens up, yeah, like so. You can change the endpoints and put another one on that side if you want to, or have none at all at that side. You can put you know, your shadows in there as well and give it all sorts of interesting effects. Um, you can change the color as well. But if we wanted to build this in and just have it going from one side to the other, we've got an object here and it moves to there, you could dissolve it in. Well, that's not, that would be one way. But what we really want is directionality. So let's just say we have an object over here. And another object. We'll use a different color. Uh, over here. And we want to show movement between these objects. and we want to say we want to get from here to here, then when we have our build, the classic one is, is a white build. But look what happens. The arrowhead appears last. Watch again if you do a preview. And you kind of convey the idea, but if you wanted to show the arrowhead itself, 
say moving from here to here yeah so what you'd kind of had to do is take the measure of this here to here yeah duplicate it which is what we're going to do so we're going to copy and paste yeah and then on this one we're going to mark this one all the way down so that all we have is the arrowhead and with this one we're going to uh, change the style so that it has no arrowhead boom like so okay and then we're going to introduce this as a wipe transition watch that's fine so it's a wipe but somehow or other we have to kind of combine it with the arrowhead and have them move together and this is where it gets kind of tricky if you want that arrowhead to be part of the whole thing so this one in terms of its build yeah uh, let's make it easier let's make it two seconds long and so this one also has to be kind of uh, two seconds long but it's going to be a move not a wipe so now we have to make that into a move there we go you can see how it does it and we're going to do it over two seconds as well and it, it has to move to here hope you follow me so far and then in the build order we have to uh, link them okay we have to link them uh, we can get rid of this first one we don't need that now so we have a wipe and a move and now it's with build one but as you're going to see in a moment, it doesn't kind of, you've got to fiddle with this now. So watch what happens. So there's our arrowhead. It's kind of not bad if you think about it. Let's do it one more time. Arrowhead. So you, if you want to do it, you might have to make this as in terms of, firstly, the um, this line here or the arrowhead here. That kind of has to do an appear first if you think about it and then do the second one otherwise it looks a bit strange because the story is well let's go from from the brown to the green we've already got the arrowhead there so you'd have to do an appear first and then this that's not bad is it if you think about it okay so let's move all this out the way and show you what the new line draw feature this new build can actually do so we're going to have a shape and we're going to take our line here yeah there we go and uh, format let's do it like so or like so it doesn't really matter we've got lots of opportunities there let's do, do it as we did before let's add in shall we the um, uh, the style which in this case we're going to try and add an endpoint which is this one yeah and let's make it a little bit bigger and now for animation we're going to build it in add an effect which is what we have to do and now we've got this new one called line draw so we're going to put it in and you'll see how this works okay so there's the font the, the original one that i created and now the new one so it's taken care of it for us one more time original with the wipe and now the line draw which is kind of cool let's hop out of here so a creative way I use this some time back is with this particular company Ivaco and watch what I did here let's have a look at the sales of these cars of these trucks so here's our truck it's called the Stralis and in X year Stralis was our biggest seller look how many it sold this many and so what we've got here is that the truck itself is acting as the arrowhead and then as soon as the truck passes over the number that number appears watch again here's our model x it drove sales of forty-five thousand. model y it drove sales of forty thousand. so what you can see is we have a move of the picture of the truck we have the wipe transition of the yellow bar and then just and then the timing is so that just as the truck passes over it 
we have a dissolve in of the numbers. Watch again. And so forth. So this is a combination of things. So it'd be nice if, if Apple allowed the arrowhead to be integrated into a line draw. So this is what you can do with, with these sort of bar graphs. So that rather than putting this all up in one go and then working your way down the story, you can build it up bit by bit by bit. So let's get out of this. And you can see over here in the build order kind of what's going on. We have the move of the truck. We have the shape, which is the yellow bar. And then we have the numbers coming in. Appearance of the next truck its move, the yellow bar wipes in as a build and then the numbers and so forth and so on. You can see how it works. And you've really got to work hard a little bit to get all these numbers that, with the delays and whatever else so it works in sequence and, and looks good. So that's some of the things you can do. Let's go back if we can to the, the charts here uh, because if you go to shape and we use this one you can create a whole variety of um, of bars here. You can move this around and change things and do all sorts of quite interesting um, moves. So let's stretch this out a little bit and put in format here an arrow. Let's animate this this one here with again the line draw and you can see what happens. I'll just thicken this up a little bit so that you can uh, in format so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. There we go. So let's try it again. Preview. It's kind of neat don't you think? Now notice this area here which says include endpoints. If you take this away and you do it again not notice what happens. Boom. So it's only if you have this tick box clicked, include endpoints, uh, will the arrowhead be part of the whole drawing. Otherwise, it appears um, only at the end. And again, this little green arrow here lets you kind of move things around a little bit. So that's kind of neat. There's one other little thing I want to show you uh, if you want to do this sort of line draw. And that's under shape. See what says draw with pen? So you can do this, boom, 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 boom. We're going to do a spiral. Notice that I'm not drawing angles at this point. So I want a spiral. Well, we're going to end it there. We just do a little click here. Otherwise, it's like a spider web and it finishes there. And we're going to build an effect in. If we do line draw, that's kind of neat. And again, we haven't chosen an, an endpoint. Um, so that is once more in format. And let's just do a, a blob there and then try it again. And you'll see how it works. OK, I'll slow it down a little bit. So because I've got the include endpoints, you can see how that little blob is going to stay at the very beginning of it. So there could be all sorts of really interesting effects that you can do here but notice that because we use it as a polygon you've got these it's quite you, you've got all these angles but apple lets you do some interesting things here so if we highlight the whole thing and go up to our format and go to shapes and lines as you can see here make it editable and notice that all the points here start to have little white boxes the end point has that box there but if you go to edit yeah, and you do select all, notice what happens. All the boxes now are in red. Now, see, if I, if I touch an area, it means that I could actually add a curve to it if I wanted to, which is kind of cool. OK, so let's click on this again one more time. Select all. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Now I've got to go in and make it editable, remember? Shapes and lines, make editable. Now all the points have been selected. Now, under edit, select all. And they've all gone to red, as you can see, which is kind of interesting. 
So then under format shapes and lines, we've got something new has appeared. This was grayed out before. Make sharp point, make smooth point, make bezier point. If we choose make smooth point, watch all the angles change. Boom. Now look what happens. Now that gets really interesting. So if we select this and we do preview, we've got some beautiful circles going on. And that's kind of interesting. Okay, so this is line draw. These are often little things here which are, are kind of hidden away from us. We don't use it very much at all. Uh, you can add in, if you like, once we've selected this, uh, once more we can, uh, under, under format, we can make editable. And if you go here to um, format, shapes and lines, make bezier point, each of those points, notice what happens, you can inflect it, which is the bezier part. Stretch it out this way, stretch it this way, on each of those points if you want to. So there's lots of little things you can do here. Okay, kind of cool. Uh, the opening one, of course, doesn't, but these other ones, you can do all sorts of really interesting kind of things. Okay, click on that. Let's have another look at, uh, at preview. Boom, hold it there, preview. And really smooth it out. So that's the, look, the new line draw feature. Um, don't give up on, on drawing graphs and charts and just having it all come up, boom, in one go. Have a little bit of a play with it so that you, you're telling a story with each graph that comes in. And be a little bit playful with it by joining wipes and build-ins and moves so that you can really illustrate your point um, in a story-like fashion rather than put it all up there in one go uh, as if you were using an overhead projector slide in one go. And we've got really nice software that lets us animate some of our ideas. Hope you enjoyed.